My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I am fantastic. I hope you've been kind to each other. Today, I'm reviewing Tom Ford Patchouli Absolute, which is £159 for 50ml. This is from his uh, private blend collection. Okay, the top notes are bay leaf, rosemary moss, the banana notes are patchouli, great wood, I can never pronounce that. Cyprol, violet woods, cashmere wood, tonka bean amber, musk and leather. So hurrah for patchouli. I love patchouli very much. It is one of my most favorite raw materials, but fragrances that contain patchouli, I am going to be very hard on because I love patchouli very, very much. And when I release my patchouli fragrance, I've developed it three times now. It's actually gonna be sublime and wonderful and do it justice. So fragrances that say they contain rose, oud, patchouli, and magris, so I'm gonna be really, really hard on. It's just who I am. So do we have a fragrance samples? I'm engaged with a higher self. Let's get testing. So I'm getting a primarily patchouli fragrance. Now the Tom Ford patchouli, the white patchouli I love very much. That was excellently juxtaposed with cleanness. And patchoulis and soundwoods and mosses have to be handled correctly because they can become dense, hard, and um, just not particularly pleasant to wear. I am smelling patchouli ambergris raw materials. Now the accord, main accord in this is wrapped up with eugenol. Um, the um, cashmar in woods, the musks, sound woods, moss. I love it very much. It's one of my most favorite accords. I sort of uh, um, have yet to use it but I am waiting for the right moment to be directed by my higher self to do something maybe with it. I'm spending sandalwood in this, I love sandalwood. This seems incredibly simplistic to me. I'm smelling a couple of musks, hard, masculine, musk and a clean musk at the base. I'm smelling some pine, mint, give elevation and length, sparkle. On to my final thoughts. This feels unfinished. Um, this feels simplistic. This does not particularly feel magical. So I'm gonna mark it. I think the technical ability, um, I'm gonna give it a 2.5. I'm not an awe at all of this. Um, it's too simplistic. I'm going to mark it a 2.5 from my personal point of view because I love patchouli and I love some of the raw materials. They're one of my favourite raw materials, the sandalwood, the moss, the eugenol, all that sort of wrapped around. But I do not think this is worth the price at all. So I'm going to mark it a zero out of two. The cost I'm going to mark this a five out of ten, which I think is fair. I personally think if you've got some sandwood, some patchouli, and macerated with vanilla pods for a couple of days, and apply that to 10% concentration and 90% alcohol, I think you would have a better fragrant, better patchouli fragrance than this. And it is unfortunate because I love patchouli very, very much. How would I improve upon it? Well, actually, you'll see. Because when I release patchouli fragrance, I want it to be one of the most beautiful fragrances I've created. It's a very personal journey for me. Uh, when I was 14 in Gothic, I used to wear patchouli all the time. Patchouli to me makes me think of Count Dracula in that film with Winona Ryder. All that mystery and magic and that's what I want from it. Now I would add smokiness to it. I would add chocolate to it. I would add some leathery compounds to it. I'd definitely add rose and ambergris to it to give smokiness. And I would twist through it some uh, majif and some wood compounds to give smokiness and depth and explosion through it. I'd make it sexy, dark, brooding, night, mystery, gothicness, 
that's what I want from patchouli and this is not taking it there. This to me smells like a 1970s, 1980s brute fragrance. It feels so out of date. The projection is really good and the longevity is going to be a beast, but the, the longevity is because of the choice of raw materials. The raw materials in this are very heavy, so you're going to have something which is really heavy. But this to me smells old fashioned and I think it needs to be reformulated. That's my personal opinion. Grimy. But that's what Pachidi does. This is my problem. Yes. I'm a little underwhelmed. I'm not emotionally connected. I really want my Pachidi fragrances to be special, unique, beautiful. And I haven't been taking that yet. Very, very unfortunate. But this um, fragrance is from um, Per Musa, by Mister, and the packaging is up beautifully. I'm obsessed about packaging at the moment, and this was sent quickly in a beautiful little packaging. So this, I think, is lovely. So my friends, after that um, disappointing review, we're going to be kind to each other. We're going to do something wonderful. We're going to put some food in some food banks or something. Let's change the world. So give a thumbs up, subscribe, all that bullshit for interesting and fascinating content. And I'll see you soon for a fragrance review.